Brock Mendenhall can coach, but does he have the talent to compete in the ACC Coastal Division? Welcome to the Voice of College Football as we march through the 65 Power 5 teams and deliver our predictions for the 2021 season. We typically do this with a big kickoff show going into the season, but we understand that many of you like the individual videos, so we deliver those here in July and August, getting you prepped for the 21 season. Keep in mind, we picked Alabama and Ohio State in the national championship game prior to kickoff last year. All right, Virginia in the ACC. Interesting schedule here for the Cavaliers as uh, they play three Power Five conference teams outside the ACC, depending on how you categorize BYU. But it's a difficult schedule for Virginia outside the conference. Let's take a look what uh, the Cavaliers have for us this year, a team that won the division two years ago and went to the Orange Bowl against Florida. William & Mary's a win. Illinois should be a win at home. The Illini might be the worst team in the Big Ten. North Carolina on the road, difficult assignment considering the Heels are uh, the ACC Coastal Division favorite with maybe the best quarterback in the nation. All right, I marked the two teams uh, there with Wake Forest and Louisville. The reason here is anytime you're looking at a schedule, particularly in the ACC and the SEC, and in a different sense, the Big Ten and the Pac-12, you look to see what the assignment is in the other division, because we know college football scheduling is screwed up both out of conference and in conference. We've addressed that elsewhere. So we have to look to see how different the schedules are and how unfair they are based on the opponents lined up in the opposite division. So for Virginia, of course, they play everyone in the Coastal Division, one of the worst divisions in college football, uh, which could be really muddled up if uh, North Carolina disappoints this year. But if we look at the Atlantic Division, Virginia's got a date against Louisville. That is their rival, even though it's not a rival. <laughs> they shouldn't play every year. They play Louisville each season out of the ACC Coastal Division, and then it comes up on Wake Forest. Wake Forest typically goes anywhere from 6-6 six and six to 8-4 under Dave Clawson. So, decent assignments, but nothing too daunting. They miss Clemson and North Carolina State this year. All right, again, so they get into the ACC Conference play with a lot of winnable games here. Although they've got to face North Carolina and Miami, both on the road in the span of three weeks. If they could steal a win there, then they're still in competition for a division championship. If they lose both of those games, those two being the primary teams in the Coastal Division, most likely that's the end of a championship run for Virginia if they lose to both UNC and Miami. But if they can pick off one of those two teams, make their way through the lesser teams, and win those games that we see most prominently in the ACC, uh, more so than the other conferences, where you've got this glut of teams that can't be separated. Louisville, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Wake Forest, and others, where it's difficult to separate and determine. They're all in that 6-6, six 7-5 and six, seven and five type range, and probably somewhere between 5-3 and 3-5 three and three and in the conference. So Virginia, those are going to be some close calls. You have to beat Duke. You have to beat Georgia Tech if you're UVA. Those are home games against what appear to be two of the lesser teams in the Coastal Division coming off bad, bad seasons. This Virginia team, two years ago, the best in the Coastal, 5-5 five and five last year after a 1-4 and four start. Got to win those games, especially considering the stretch run. Of course, the games here against BYU and Notre Dame are just window dressing unless Virginia just completely shocks everyone and is in the race for a college football playoff appearance because BYU and Notre Dame obviously non-conference games. So those for the overall bowl record and trying to get to postseason could factor in but set up a difficult stretch for the Cavaliers. BYU on the road, Notre Dame at home. They've got Pitt on the road and Virginia Tech. So even though Pitt and Virginia Tech aren't necessarily daunting, they're capable top 40 to 50 teams in the nation that Virginia has to face after BYU and Notre Dame. So get the wins early. It's going to be key that you beat the teams that are in that same tier, that same category. So for Virginia, it's Wake Forest, Louisville, Georgia Tech, 
Pitt and Virginia Tech. Those teams win the majority of those games, and you've got a shot to do something in a ACC Coastal Division that's historically been a mess. North Carolina could change that. Miami possibly this year with a huge run and a double-digit win season. For Virginia, we are optimistic considering the schedule here. 7-5, and five, overall 5-3. Five and three. So you got a couple losses out of conference. 7-5, and 5-3 five, five and three of the ACC, our outlook for Bronco Mendenhall and company. Leave your comments down in the section below. Like the video. Share the videos out on social media. Get people involved here on our predictions, our call-in shows, our live streams, our team-specific live streams that we offer each and every day over our network of channels here at the Voice of College Football. And we will see you with another prediction next time.